It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And global stock markets tumbled this week on the back of a very disappointing jobs report. On top of Chinese exports dropping 21% in February, coupled with weak German industrial data, and after the European Central Bank cut its growth forecast to 1.1%, causing investors to worry that the global economy's problems run much deeper than the U.S.-China trade dispute. And doesn't look like that's getting resolved anytime soon either. Investors chose pessimism, and they chose to ignore the good news that the European Central Bank would provide a series of new stimulus to support the European economy, including more cheap loans to the European banks, and a pledge to pause on interest rate increases until the end of the year. Of course, this week's pullback comes on the tail of the market's best start since 1991, and it was reasonable to expect a pause in the uptrend. However, the U.S. market is trading at 16 and a half times earnings, and the 10-year Treasury bond is only yielding 2.6%. So the actual risk-reward profile of the market is very favorable. Big gains in January and February have tended to bode well for the rest of the year. A positive January February has historically led to a positive year 87% of the time, with an average return of over 16% in total return. That's good news for us as long-term investors. But what I find surprising is the level of skepticism that remains on the part of the average investor versus this bull market, which will soon become the longest in history. Remarkably, individual investors have actually been net sellers of the market over the past decade. Since 2009, the roughly $1 trillion of inflows into stocks have been more than offset by the $1.3 trillion of outflows. Of course, once again, this is good news for investors. When it comes to investor sentiment, the market tends to be a contrarian. As legendary investor Sir John Templeton has said in the past, bull markets are born on pessimism, grow on skepticism, and die on euphoria. And the level of skepticism on the part of average investors might mean that this big, booming bull market may last longer than anyone expects. If you're sitting there thinking, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my goals, to my dreams? Am I in line with my family's risk tolerance? Why sit there and wonder what you could know? Simply give us a call or text, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 